So this is the third attempt. Um, these are my other two uh, that didn't work. This is for the mixed media Marshall number 10, the masking technique. And my problem here is that I don't have any temporary adhesive. Uh, so with this one I tried to hold it down with my finger and paint around it. Um, kind of worked, but I don't like this one. And this one I tried to use uh, a glue, but that was just way too sticky and I couldn't get the circles off. So I'm left with masking tape. So that is what I'm going to do for the mixed media morsel number 10, which is about masking technique. Um, I watched Cat Hand's video and she used some uh, drop paper, so paper she used to pick up any leftover paint. Uh, she glued it down on her surface and then she cut out uh, little flowers which she glued down with a temporary adhesive and then painted the surface all black and pulled away the little flowers that worked perfectly. It was very nice. Um, so that's the masking technique. You mask uh, certain parts of your surface that won't get the layer of paint uh, you put on top and once you remove those um, little shapes um, you will see the background on that part. So I am going to use the masking tape and I have two sizes so I got something to play with. And what I'm going to do is, well, let's take my sweater. So the most sticky part will be gone. So. So, so hopefully this will do the trick. Now I'm adding uh, a color on top of this and um, I'm just going to use black because I think the contrast with black and those colors would be very nice. So I will dry this and uh, do another layer because I see that it's a bit transparent so so I've used up my uh, paint to give this a second coat and this is now dry. I'm going to add a few oops. letters with this Cat Hand uh, started this Facebook group for the mixed media morsels and you learn um, 
all kinds of techniques like this one the masking technique and uh, you do them on a little surface because that's what a morsel is a morsel is uh, a little something uh, you can use a little book or notebook or piece of paper I chose to do them on beer coasters so I've done a few already and um, it's great fun uh, so if you like to join the Facebook group I will leave you a link in the description box below so you can check out for yourself and play along and you can do your own interpretation of, of, of the assignments of course you don't exactly have to do what cat hand does as long as you try and do the technique so I will I think that this is dry enough for me to pull down the tape So instead of what Cat Han did, while well, she used a piece of drop paper on her, to glue down on the surface, I just put up put up some paint. Uh, first gessoed the beer coaster because they soak up a lot of moisture, and then um, I just painted with a few different colors. So this turned quite turned out quite okay. Yay. That's quite nice. So yeah. I have to think for a minute of about what I'm going to do <clears throat> to give this a bit more of interest and I'll be back in a second. So I figured out what to do and I made this little butterfly which are two uh, butterflies cut out of paper glued together, wrapped a thread around it and added a little bling thing. I'm going to add this on the morsel but first I'm going to use the Uni Posca white marker to scribble a bit on the black. Um, uh, stripes. I'm not really writing anything, maybe here. So, and I am going to ink the edges of this butterfly with a stajan. So, and I'm gluing it down, I think here, using the golden gel medium, the regular gel mat.
and then as I also use these as my um, uh, inspiration prompt cards I am gluing down a piece of paper on the back side with my prompt which says use paper shapes to mask parts of your work so I printed this out before I tried the masking tape so this could also be use masking tape to mask parts of your work so I'm gluing this paper on the back side and I'm using a glue stick Then adding my prompt. And I am going to outline that with a Sharpie <clears throat> and I'm going to use this black acrylic paint again for painting uh, the edges So, and the last thing to do is add a date, it's the 13th of December and I'm going to place that right here. And that's it for my mixed media morsel number 10, the masking technique. So remember to check out the description box below because you will find a link to the mixed media morsel face group, Facebook group there. And uh, well, we like for you to join in and um, play along with us. Thank you very much for watching and see you again next time. Bye bye!